today on Living Hakuna. Why are you taking the whole milk? Because we're not coming back to a supermarket in three months. Guys, we just bought a van and we're gonna start building our own van in the next month. If you guys wanna donate some cookies for Hakuna, <laughs> let me know. I'll go pick them up. No, babe. I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Echo. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. Good morning, guys. Hey, good morning. Good morning, people. Good morning. <laughs> okay, what are we doing today, baby? So we're gonna go to my parents. Yes. We're gonna finish the laundry. We're gonna put the last laundry cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna go leave the dogs leave the dogs switch cars switch cars because this is my sister's car we're gonna take alejo's parents car which is bigger and then we're gonna go grocery shopping uh for three months again so we're provisioning a lot and it's a lot of food and a lot of things that we need to take back to the boat so last night we stayed in my sister's house tonight we'll probably stay there because by the time we're finished with all this grocery shopping, it's going to definitely be a really, really long day. Um, really long day. This morning, we had a lot of things to do, catch up with, because we obviously didn't have internet since um, our passage from Nassau to here, to Miami. So we didn't have any internet. We have a lot of catching up to do in terms of our company and in terms of answering some things for our patrons. And now we are ready to continue. continue it's journey. not, yeah. It's not a beautiful day here in Miami. It's rainy. Why is it so rainy? You ready? I'm ready, getting some gloves, you know. <laughs> it feels like we're going to war. No? Are you ready? Like we're preparing to go to war and like see a bunch of people that hopefully nobody's infected and we don't come across to anyone that's infected, but. So weird. We were so away from what's the reality here, right? It's crazy. Like you have to wear gloves. Everybody's putting masks. We have wipes. 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 Like it's crazy. This is not, you know, what we're obviously we live in the middle of the ocean. I mean, how can we be prepared for this? But our parents were totally prepared. So they prepared us. Just like a duck. We just left Costco, right? Super stressful. Yeah, it's so stressful. Just like you look at everyone, you're like, oh my God, what if this one has a coronavirus? Let's not get close to this one. And I'm like running away from people and like you're trying to stay six feet away, but six feet is never enough. And then there's people that don't really care and like always get close to you. So I don't know, maybe we're like panicking too much, but it's just we're definitely not used to this new pandemic, pandemic situation. <laughs> it really feels like the jungle kind of thing. Anyway, so at Costco, we bought all of the big stuff, things that we consume really often. After buying lots of things from Costco, we spent $352 with 46 cents. Remember guys, we're provisioning for three months because we, again, like we did for Bahamas, because we don't want to keep coming to grocery stores. And yeah, we kind of learned to live long term with food and we found it amazing like this time that we were kind of forced to do it it was awesome and we want to do it all over again and pretty much every single time that we go grocery shopping we just rather go once a month buy a lot of food a lot of like three months worth of stuff and forget about it totally. so that's the plan where is our next stop baby whole foods whole foods yeah Taking forever. Are you gonna take the whole milk? Yes. Why are you taking the whole milk? Because we're not coming back to a supermarket in three months. But they are not allowing us.
Dude, are you kidding me? Look at all this food. It's gonna sink. The Why are you buying sink. so much food? You're buying food. No, you're buying food. How you doing? I'm okay. I'm coming to your house when I get off. Thank you. Thank you. Baby, tell me. How much was it? 700 and... 703. 703? Yes. And we got one full cart and half a little full cart. Alright, so I think we're done. I think we're done. Okay guys, so we finally did it. Uh, we have the car full of food everywhere. Full of food everywhere. As you can see, nothing really fits. Yep. Cheap. What a long day. We're so tired. Are you tired? Yes. Yeah, we're drained, exhausted. We went to Costco, Fall Foods, Walmart. We spent the total of? I don't know. It was $703 at Walmart, $77 at Whole Foods, and $350 at Costco. And honestly, it was a lot cheaper than the first time we provisioned for three months. And I think the reason is because this time we actually knew what we needed. We knew what we would have wanted to have more and what didn't really last us that long. So a lot of things we, it was a little hard at first to figure out, right? The things that would get brought in like easily and the things that would obviously last us a longer time. So it actually was a lot cheaper than we expected. We bought a lot of food. We were definitely, we definitely have more than enough for three months, right? I think so, we'll see. gonna work a little bit I'm gonna go take some shipments from our company to to UPS USPS and FedEx oh, man so this is what we do while we're not on the boat working work Here. Uh, these packages packages gonna get some boxes ah en el del medio Boxes, things, more boxes.
so we're here at UPS and these things were at my parents house since we don't have to pay storage so I'm taking Andrea's sister car to the mechanic I'm gonna drop her drop off the car because the car was overheating and yeah I'm with the dogs pick up some clothes Hola amor. Amor, what are we doing? We are going to see my sister's dad. My sister is a soon to be van lifer. It's a wannabe van lifer. Wannabe van lifer. I was a wannabe for a long time. She's learning from her big sister. Our home. Damn people, look at this. Wait, did you guys install this one? Yeah. Franklin huh? installed it. Wow, you guys. It's super shiny. We can see a reflection. Wow. So guys, we just bought a van and we're going to start building our own van. <laughs> Baby, are you going to help them? No. Yeah, we're not going to help them. <laughs> we're going to build our own van at some point, right? Yes. Yeah. What yeah. van are we getting, yeah. baby? We're going to get a smaller one. A smaller one? And a bigger one. A bigger one, yeah, because we're gonna get a bus. Oh my god, dude! Wait, a bigger one? You would have the extender? Yes. This is not the extender? No. No, the extender it feels huge. It's a stack up. No, I don't have to stack up. Yeah, to park? No, it's huge. No. I mean, you would never drive this one anyway because you probably I drove it around Century Village. Day number three. Leaving my parents' house. And taking the car. I'm gonna go get some food for the dogs. I'm gonna get some soap to wash the boat, wash the dinghy. Uh, what else? I'm gonna see if I can buy the 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 halyard for the first reef. That's pretty like, damaged, so we can change that halyard. And. Well, I'm gonna go to West Marine, see what I can get, because I saw they had a lot of promotions due to the coronavirus. So the more promotions they have, the more things we could buy. Woo -hoo -hoo. $300 but we got a lot of things and there was like a 30% sale so it was good and yeah look who's driving Woo! <laughs> Andrea's sister fiance <laughs> all right we're gonna go to Home Depot we're gonna get wiring for the van because these guys are building this band for van life they're gonna live on the band as you can see it's pretty big <laughs> this guy's helping me with the electrical part because i don't know anything about electrical so yeah that's why we have alejo over here helping me so shout out for alejo yes we're gonna help them out with the electrical it almost seems like we're finally going back to our home. Hakuna, we miss you so much, right? Um, and we got the bears with us today in the car. Uh, so we pretty much got we pretty much got all of our to-dos done. So what do we need to do before we start taking up north? Fix the radar. We need to fix our radar. So we have to go up the mast, take up the radar go down the mast, head to uh, what's the place where they fix it? I don't know, some place where they fix like your AIS or and you take your device there and they basically tell you whether it's damaged or not 
And if it is, then you have to send it into Raymarine. If they can fix it there, they will fix it for you. And just to check it, they tried like last time for the AIS, the charge was like 40 bucks. So it wasn't much, right? Yeah. And it's worth it. Instead of like having an actual technician go to the boat and check it out, they're gonna charge you a lot more money for that. So that's what we're doing. We bought a lot of things for the boat. Oh, what'd you buy? Yeah, he went he went crazy going show on a Not shopping crazy. spree. You, you totally went on a shopping spree. Yeah, you guys are seeing my sister and her boyfriend fight right now. <laughs> Baby, why are you eating ice cream again? My ice cream. Since when haven't you eaten ice cream? Like when was the last time that you ate ice cream? Four months. I know. Did you miss your ice cream? Yeah, for months. <laughs> he loves his ice cream. You miss it so much. So, baby, where are we going? The boat. Hakuna Matara. What a wonderful place. You're looking good. I am always looking good. Okay, so. Chicos, se nos va a caer esto. What? No, espera, yo vuelvo por esa cara. Putting everything into the car. Luckily, my sister and her fiance got a van, so. Ben? Okay, so that's all our stuff dog food, we have groceries, we have clean clothes. More clean clothes. We're still missing the freezer stuff. Anything you, you're missing that you have to add? Uh, no, I'm not missing anything. <laughs> you're not missing anything? Okay. Ven, ayúdame, Patricia, ¿qué te pasa? I'm coming, Patricia. Hello. We're trying to keep our YouTube friends updated on the situation. They are updated. Uh, excuse me, why are you taking so many cookies? Because I love cookies. You love cookies? Baby, you know what the problem is? That you're gonna eat it all within the next month. If you guys wanna donate some cookies for Hakuna, <laughs> let me know. I'll go pick them up. No, baby. And with all the parties around, it'll keep us busy. Yes. So, como um, the the question you like to ask the most, how are you feeling? Not good. <laughs> Not too good. No. <laughs> it's so rainy today, right? It's very, 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 very rainy. Do you like rainy days? Uh, no. Oh no? yeah, I have a lots of cookies. <laughs> no, because you said you were gonna eat the cookies until next Sunday. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching today's video. We really hope you all enjoyed watching and we want to give a special shout out to our patrons. They're the ones that make this videos happen. Thank you guys so much. If you all enjoyed watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps us spread the video so more people can watch it. 
subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you can be notified each time that we upload a new video. We upload every single Sunday and sometimes on Thursdays. So don't forget to hit the little bell so you can be notified each time. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye!